she is in critical condition, very critical. She uh, is in need of prayer, and I want to start our service in prayer for her. So, if you believe in God, that's what we want. Uh, there's nothing else any of us can do. We've been right beside her trying to think of anything we can do, and the only thing we can come up with is just keep talking to God. Amen. He said to pray without ceasing. And he said if we come to him, we've got to believe that he is God. He's the one that is powerful. He's the one that can do what we can't do. Uh, they're going to operate on her again tomorrow morning. I'm just going to bring you up just a moment. They operated on her Friday. Very major surgery. And they were trying to stop all the bleeding. Now, so far she's done really, really well. Uh, last night she rested better than she's rested sometime. Uh, I want you to include her mother in your prayers. She's been so strong. I've never seen Missy this strong in my life. But uh, God has been with her. She said, I don't know how, Big Dad, she, she calls me Big Dad, but how that I've been this strong. And I said, yes, you do. And she said, yeah, I do. And I want to start the service this morning in a little different manner, and I want to ask you to call upon God. And I want you to continue to pray because today is a very critical day for her. And then in the morning, they've got her scheduled first thing with a team of specialists that's going to try to come in to try to work on her... Uh, um, uh, somebody help me think of the word I'm trying to do. Her pancreas. It tore her pancreas in two. And there's a bad area on there that the doctor said they just had to leave alone, but they, they feel like that her duct work in her pancreas is still working. So they're bringing in a team of specialists in the morning before they close her up to, to do some special tests that they're going to do to make sure that it is. But her liver was heavily damaged as well, but they said that she'll be fine and her liver will compensate for itself and it will get rid of the, the part that's, that's been destroyed. I think about a third of her liver was destroyed, if I'm right on that. And Sister Donna, you correct me if I'm wrong. On her liver... Yeah, yeah. They 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 said that her her liver will do good, but she has a lot of needs. And in the morning, they're going to be doing surgery to try to close her up. And uh, so there's a lot going to happen between now and tomorrow morning. I want to say I really appreciate all you all's love and prayer. There have been a lot of times we haven't been able to answer the phones to talk to you because of the situation. But uh, uh, if you if you ask me what you can do, just talk to God. Amen. 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 Keep her before God because that's that's what's going to bring her through this. Amen. Amen. So uh, I'd like to ask you to stand if you would, and we're going to ask God to bless Marley. Jesus, our gracious heavenly Father, Lord, we come to you for one reason at this time, Lord, and that's for Marley Curry. God, we ask that you would continue to overshadow her like you have. God, that you would continue to sustain her life as you have. God, you've given her favor. Lord, you've stopped the bleeding. You kept her alive, Lord, that she can get to the hospital. And God, we thank you for every nurse and all the good doctors. But God, we ask for you to overshadow her. God, don't let anybody touch her, Lord, that doesn't have your blessing. Blessings. God bless us, Lord, today that we can find the faith to touch you. Lord, we know that if we touch you, it'll be well. And God, we believe that you have already favored Marley and you're there with her. Fill her place, Lord, take away the fear that she has in her heart and mind right now. In Jesus' name, we ask this favor and we thank you. Can you thank him, church? Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. All right, get you a 